Hey, what's up? It's Evan from PhotoExtremist.com and today you are going to learn how to take a high speed photograph of fruits and vegetables being dropped into a fish tank. Yeah. All right, so first and foremost is my setup. I am currently in my beautiful garage and here is the fish tank itself. I purchased this at Walmart for about 12 bucks. It's a 10 gallon tank and it's being elevated by a ladder here and a ladder there and there's a board in between the two. I filled up the fish tank by using this hose that is coming out of my backyard. Next is the camera. It is pointing directly at the fish tank and the lens that's on here is a 50 millimeter lens it is a prime lens, so it's going to be very sharp. Uh, if you don't have a prime lens, just use whatever lens you have. Anything will work, but this is ideal. Next that's on here is a RF602 wireless flash trigger. This just pops on the cold shoe or hot shoe, whatever you want to call it. And all this does is that whenever you take a picture pushing the button, is it will fire the flashes and illuminate your subject perfectly. So here is the two flashes. There's one here and one here. Both flashes have plastic bags over them to protect them from water and both of them also have the RF602 um, receiver on them to receive the flash signal so they fire. So this one right here it is on uh, 1 32nd power and it is basically pointing upward, a little, just slightly upward toward the subject. The next flash is right above the fish tank and it is basically pointing downward um, and just flashing in this area. This is really cool because once the fruit, once I drop the fruit and it's right about here, you, you can see the um, water reflections from the surface being projected onto the fruit or vegetable itself. So that is a really cool trick. Next, let me show you the background that I'm using. <clears throat> here it is right here. It's on another light stand. And what is attached to the light stand is this reflector holder. This is actually originally meant to hold a reflector but I actually have a board right here. So it's just a black board that you can buy at any office store, whatever you need to do. And it basically just holds onto it. It's like a little claw that just kind of grabs onto it. Now, right now this is black, but if I wanted a white background, all I would have to do is put a whiteboard here and then turn on this flash, which is, which is just pointing upward at here. It's just to blow out the background completely to make it totally white. The power on this flash, I would probably turn it to about one fourth power max and one sixteenth power probably to the lowest. I don't want to do full power because if you're on full power, um, the flash duration will be longer and you may get motion blur. So always try to use the lowest powered settings you can on all three flashes or all two flashes or whatever you're using. All right, so just remember that it is the flashes that are freezing the motion, not the camera. Right now, the camera's on F14, 160th of a second, at ISO 100. So if I were to take the picture with no flashes going off, you would just see total darkness because with the camera settings, it's eliminating all visible light right now. It is these flashes that are going to illuminate the subject and freeze the, mo the motion instantaneously. All right, so here we go. I'm using two peppers. Uh, peppers are really good because they're very vibrant, they are very light, and they float very well. So it's perfect for dropping into a fish tank. So here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna push the button on my camera as soon as I drop them. So three, two, and one. Three, two, and one. So there we go, you saw there's a little bit of splash, and there's the picture, it looks pretty good. Also, if you want to remove the little specks of water that pop on the fish tank afterwards, use one of these squeegee things, it's really good, you just, you just 
squeegee it off, and uh, yeah, the water drops will just disappear, just like that. And then you can pick up whatever that's in there again and take hundreds of photos.